hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's continue with the frames and machine problems right so let's solve this particular problem in this problem it is said that determine the reaction at the roller f for the frame loaded as shown so we have this frame right and it is loaded at this point c with 250 newton force so we are required to find the force at the at this roller support right so let's say that this uh, roller applies a force of magnitude f on this d e member of this frame right so let's say that this is that force f which is required right so to solve this problem uh, first what i will do is that i will consider this e b c member right so as we can see that here we have external load 250 newton force so this force will try to rotate this abc arm in the clockwise direction right so this abc arm will apply the force on this bd member in this direction right so as a reaction this bd member will apply the opposite force on this abc member in this direction right so if we isolate if we consider the free body diagram of this uh, abc member right so this this bd arm is at an angle of 60 degree this is given right so if I draw the free body diagram, so then uh, we will have uh, two reaction forces at this point A, right? Since here uh, we have a pin joint, right? So here we will have uh, a x reaction, and let's say this is a y reaction. If this is our positive x and positive y direction, right? And similarly, uh, this BD arm will apply the force on this ABC member in this direction like this, right? So let's say that this is force B, right? The BD member force is having B force, right? So now if I apply the summation of moment about point A equals to zero, if we consider this member ABC, let me write, we are considering member A, B and C. Right. So if we apply the summation of moment about point A equals to zero, so then as we can see, if I resolve this B force into its component, so it will have one component in this direction. This will be the cos component and it will have one component like this. So this component is the sine component, right? Let me write that this is B X component and this one is this one is B Y, right? So as we can see that this B Y is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point A. So I will write B Y by is producing counterclockwise moment so this will be positive and in the perpendicular distance of this by from the point a is 0.5 so i will multiply this with 0.5 so this is 0.5 by and this 250 newton force is producing clockwise moment so i will write minus 250 and the perpendicular distance of this 250 newton force from the point a is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 right so i will write i will multiply this with 0 0.8 so this is equal to zero so from this equation we can find b y so b y equals to 0 0.8 into 250 divided by 0 0.5 right so 0 0.8 into 250 divided by 0 0.5 so this is 400 right so b y equals to 400 newton right so as we know that uh, b y is the sine component of b so we can write that b y is b sine of 60 degrees which is equal to 400 so from this equation we can find b force right the force applied by b d member on this a b c member right so b force is 400 divided by sine of 60 degrees right so 400 answer divided by sine of 60 so this is 461.88 so b force is let me write here that b force is 461.88 so we can say that this is approximately 462 newtons so now uh, if this bd member is uh, applying this b force on this abc arm right so since this bd member is a two member two force uh, member right so it will apply the same force uh, on this d a member in the opposite direction right 
so if if this if i consider this bd member right so this is the bd member so this bd member is applying uh, b force in this direction so this abc member will apply the same force on this uh, bd member in the opposite direction right so this is that bd member right so this is that b force which uh, abc will apply on this bd member and similarly uh, the same b force will be applied by this de member on this bd right so like this so is the reaction this bd force will apply the same force on this de member but in the opposite direction right so this means that uh, this bd member is under tension right so if if we consider this de member now so if i consider the free body diagram of this de member so then this de member will apply the same b force on this de member right but in the opposite direction like this right so this is that same b force and it is making 60 degree here now right this these two angles are alternate angles right so now if we consider that member de and if we apply the summation of moment about point e equals to 0 and here since again we have pin joint so here we will have ex support and here we will have ey support right so now if i apply the summation of moment about point e equals to 0 and let's say that the counter clockwise moment is positive right so now as we can see that again uh, this b force will have two components so it will have one component which will be acting in this direction and it will have one component which will be acting like this so this cos component is passing through that point e so it will not produce the moment about that point e so only this by component is producing the moment about that point e this component is that bx right so by is 400 which is known so now as we can see that this by is producing the counter clockwise moment about that point e so i will write by so by magnitude is 400 this is known right and the perpendicular distance of this by from that point e is 0.2 plus 0.2 so this is 0.4 so i will multiply this with 0.4 and it is producing counter clockwise moment so this is positive and this f force is producing the clockwise moment about that point e so i will write minus f and the perpendicular distance of this force f from that point e is 0.2 so we will multiply this with 0.2 so this is equal to 0 so from this we can write force f equals to minus 0.4 into 400 divided by minus 0.2 right so when we solve this so this force f comes out to be 800 newton right so this is the force applied by the roller on this de member right so this force f was required so this is the solution of this particular problem